It's my feel-good breakfast show. Indeed, we are addressing this very complicated matter this morning, and we do have our first caller on the line. Anonymous, good morning to you, and what is your question to the doctor? Thank you. Good morning. We're listening. You may ask your question. Hello? Yes, yes. Can you hear us? Anonymous? Yes. Fantastic. Yes. We can hear you loud and clear. No, I can tell you my name. My name is Carl. Oh, Carl, there we go. What is your question to the doctor? Yeah, my question is, my wife is suffering with the same disease, and I read a lot about it, but you know what's worrying me? Mm -hmm. is, is I try to help and be patient on this, but uh, sometimes you, you just lose it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, I love her so much, and I try to help her, but sometimes she just pulls out everything. And uh, you think by yourself, hell, oh, man, you know, I try to help. But uh, how far is it going to go, you know? All right. So I guess, as we said in the beginning, it's uh, the, the, the friends and family who are tasked with helping support right. the patient. So what is the right way to go That's about right. it? I think the first thing is Carl needs to understand mm. exactly what the disease is and what's happening. Yes. You know, when you marry someone and you're in a relationship with someone, you never really think of that person with that condition. Yes. And often you don't even know uh, initially. Mm -hmm. It's important obviously to then understand that these symptoms and, and the behavior that he's observing and living with is not the core of the person that he, he learned to love and has started a life with. Mm -hmm. What he needs to understand is it's just part of their persona. It's a, it's a small part of the bigger person. Yes. And as the same for his wife obviously as well. Mm. It doesn't define who she really is. Yes. And uh, for him, I think understanding that is, is at the core uh, when there's, for example, behavior. I mean, if you go to the manic episodes of bipolar di mm -hmm. disease. The very, very positive ones. The very positive, the, the charged, absolutely euphoric states. People don't sleep, they're happy, they wear bright colors, bright lipstick all the time. Mm -hmm. They're talkative and bubbly. They love going to malls and, and often have problems spending money, for mm. example. With that elevated mood, everything is just dandy. Yes. You know, and uh, for the people around them that are in touch with reality, that can be quite devastating yeah. And, yeah. and traumatic. What, so what he needs to do is really, firstly, he needs to debrief with, with someone else that's not in his family. He needs someone to talk to yes. about the struggles he's going through at home. Mm -hmm. And then he also needs, with that, to meet with a psychologist or psychiatrist that's busy with medical as well as psychotherapy yes. uh, to understand what the plan is. If you have a plan and a definitive plan of action over a period of time, it helps you understand what to expect over what timeline mm -hmm. from the person treating your family member or yeah. wife. Obviously with their permission, uh, he could discuss that with the psychiatrist. And from there, uh, it kind of helps in terms of not having unrealistic expectations Indeed. regarding yeah. the response to treatment. Excellent advice. We have a second caller on the line. Good morning, caller. Uh, okay. What is your question to the doctor? Good morning. Hi, uh, my name is Craig. Hello, Craig. And uh, last month, I was in hospital for four days. I have had uh, bipolar for the last eight or nine years. And I was always yet to believe that I have frontal lobe epilepsy. But last month I had a grand mal seizure, doctor, and mm. um, since then I haven't been to lack of, um, I've got very, very lack of, very bad concentration. My right foot was dragging when I walk, I walk with a stick, and uh, my right foot was dragging. I'm constantly out of breath, and my, I'm constantly chanting things. Mm -hmm. So I'd like that. Mm. If my uh, Tegretol should be changed, I'm currently on Tegretol, Muzak, and uh, folic acid. All right, Doctor. Good what question. So two issues here, obviously, the underlying mood disorder of the bipolar, mm -hmm. and then an issue now of seizures. And obviously the question is, does the one affect the other? Does it make it worse? Does the medication need to be adapted or changed? Mm -hmm. And certainly, if you are having seizures uh, and breakthrough seizures at that in the middle of the night, then you would need to definitely have that uh, investigated. Why we say that specifically is the three main things that cause someone who's had epilepsy to suddenly have breakthrough seizures are lack of sleep, okay. which can be caused uh, and ex exacerbated by bipolar, exactly. for example, infections, uh, because they metabolize uh, the same pathways using the medication that you're taking for your epilepsy. Mm -hmm. and, the, and with that, the third thing is compliance, whether he's taking the right dose 
consistently every single day mm -hmm. and there aren't any other foodstuffs or things like alcohol for example that can affect the working of the medication mm -hmm. being consumed at the same time. Mm -hmm. Those three things are basic things and then things like electrolytes, looking at the hydration and salt status of the body. Yeah. So that needs to be done if he's having breakthrough seizures. Um, in terms of, of that affecting his mood, if he's having frontal lobe seizures, interesting to note that the frontal lobe is very involved with your personality. Mm -hmm. uh, so in terms of your, your behavior, your mood, etc., it's extremely important to realize that the, the, the features of bipolar and the features of a frontal lobe epilepsy can often mimic each other. Yes. And uh, can certainly, you know, coexist. Mm -hmm. So uh, controlling the epilepsy is, is of paramount importance right now and certainly a medical evaluation for the breakthrough seizures is recommended. Indeed. Doctor, thank you very, very much. We'll continue our chat. It is National Bipolar Disorder Awareness Day, Tuesday the 26th of May. And of course, our lines are open on 083 913 We'll be right back after this break.